Hey guys, what's up and welcome to today's video. I am super excited to be sharing this one with you guys today. More excited than usual, if you can believe it or not. I was on a FaceTime call with my very best friend and I was kind of asking her, you know, for some inspiration for some videos. I do have a ton of content planned and thought of, but I just kind of wanted to hear it from her, kind of from her perspective, what would she want to see? And we were kind of bouncing ideas back and forth and she gave me the amazing idea to share with you guys my favorite affordable and drugstore makeup items. So I rummaged through my entire stash, shopped my stash, if you will, to pick out the very best of the best. Now, I didn't just gather a whole bunch of products just because they were inexpensive or because they were cheap, but these are products that I truly love and use quite often, actually, that are available at the drugstore or our e-commerce that are extremely affordable. The majority of the stuff that I'm about to show you is probably anywhere from $3, up to the $20 range. Most of this though is gonna fall within that 10-ish dollar range or below. There are just a few things that are a little bit more expensive, but we will get into that. But the majority of this, 99% of it, is going to be stuff that is what I would consider extremely affordable and float on or around or under that $10 range. So I have a full face here. We're talking primer, eyeshadow primer, highlighters, eyeshadows, lipsticks, brushes, you name it, contouring. I have it all right here in front of me. Let's go ahead and dive into it. Let's go ahead and talk about some amazing affordable makeup items. So I'm just gonna kind of work my way up. I think I'm gonna start with like a base and then at the end of it, we'll kind of talk about like makeup tools. I'll mention some brushes, some sponges and that sort of thing. So the first thing I wanna talk about obviously is primer. Now I have two in front of me right here. These are actually holy grail primers for me. I have talked about these on my channel for quite some time. One of these I have loved since the beginning of time, since the very early stages of my channel and that is the NYX Honey Do Me Up. This is hands down, one of my all-time favorite primers. I reach for this even over high-end stuff that I have in my collection. To be totally honest with you, I'm not huge into primers, but this is one that just feels like skincare. It just gives me this beautiful, supple, plumped base. It just lays down the most perfect base for makeup. It makes my makeup last a little bit longer. It just does something to my skin that just really brings out the best in my foundation. So again, this is the NYX Honey Do Me Up. It is a total dupe for the Guerlain Laure Primer. I'm sure you've seen that before. Kind of that tall bottle, has the gold flex in it. That one I actually do own, and I will tell you, this does like the same exact thing, like the same exact thing. I have done several wear tests myself, just outside of YouTube, just to kind of see, you know, I'm like, there has to be something that justifies the higher price tag of the Guerlain primer. And I'll be totally honest with you, after several hours of wear, I don't see really a difference at all. Definitely check this out, especially if you have dry, sensitive skin. Another good friend of mine, she has very sensitive skin. She has a little bit of rosacea. She experiences a lot of inflammation, and this doesn't agitate that at all all. So if you have sensitive skin, dry skin, or you're just someone who's not really into primers and you just want something nice to put underneath your foundation that again will bring out the best in whatever that foundation is that you put on, I definitely suggest trying out this primer. It's just... It is so good. This is like my third bottle. I absolutely love it. Another option, if you want something that's hydrating but also offers a little bit more of a smoothing effect, the Good Molecules Silicone Free Priming Moisturizer. I am a huge fan of products that don't contain silicones, especially when it comes to skincare or primers. I know that foundations and other products carry dimethicone, but for certain things, I just prefer to not have that ingredient in there. This one is just fantastic. It has shea butter in it, macadamia seed oil. It's just so good. It will actually smooth and blur and hydrate and do everything all at once without feeling too heavy. Now, if you are someone who has more combination or you're a little bit more on the oily side, this I would say you could replace your moisturizer with. If you do layer it with that, it might give you a little bit too much hydration, might cause your makeup to break up just a little bit, but there is a way for multiple skin types to find benefit and use out of this 
amazing primer. This you can only get through Beautylish. Maybe one day we will see Good Molecules in stores, but I am such a huge fan of their brand. So good. They have affordable products, affordable skincare as well, if you're interested in checking that out. But if you're looking for this sort of thing, you will absolutely love love, love, love this primer. It is so good. Let's talk about some foundations. Now I have two options here. I have a foundation and then I have something for those who want something that's a little bit more light coverage. I'm sure you all, if you've watched my channel before, can guess the foundation that I am about to mention to you. But of course it is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour fresh wear. There really isn't many foundations that work better than this one. In fact, I would actually be hard pressed to find one that I would say in general, even high end, mid range that I enjoy more than this foundation. Sometimes I will find myself reaching for other things just to kind of switch it up a bit. But every time I circle back to this foundation, I have the best makeup day, like the very best. It is extremely long wearing. It holds up in heat. It's got a little bit of an SPF in it. It has an SPF 25. I do want to mention that the SPF in this is not mineral based. It has a mineral and it has a chemical sunscreen. So it does contain both just to give you a heads up. It does have a little bit of a scent, but my goodness, this will give you the most flawless, beautiful coverage. It isn't too dewy. It is not matte. It truly falls right down the center and gives you such a natural finish. One thing that's really awesome about this foundation as well is that it mixes well with other foundations. So if you're trying to kick up the coverage a notch, or if you want to get a little bit more dewiness out of it, if you want to make it a little bit more matte, mixing this foundation with others just works so good. I don't know what it is about the formula. It just works. It is just, it is the very very best. I believe at Target, this is $11.99. It has lasted me so long. I have gone through several of these over the past year or so. It is just the best. It is a fail safe, holy grail. I pray that L'Oreal never stops making this foundation. I hope they never mess with the formula. It is the best. It is up there, the best, very best. Now, if you want something that's a little bit more of a lighter coverage, I absolutely love the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Tinted Moisturizer. Now, the nice thing about this is that it isn't going to be heavy. That is what I look for in a tinted moisturizer. I want something that will be flush on the skin, it gives me a little bit of dewiness, but I want like a truly fresh look and I truly believe that this is what this will give you. Again, it is an affordable item. It comes with a pump. It's got several different colors. It's just a really good tinted moisturizer and you can layer this up. I do believe that it does perform the best if you do apply it with your fingertips. I kind of feel like that when it comes to tinted moisturizers in general. When you start using a sponge or a brush, not only can things start to look a little bit streaky, but then you're losing a bit of the coverage. So to maximize that, just in general, a tip when you're using any type of tinted product like this or a moisturizer that has coverage added in using your fingertips is just the way to go. But again, I love the coverage. It's a light medium coverage when it comes to a tinted moisturizer. Other products layer beautifully on top of it. Again, if you are someone who is more on the oily side, you can maybe skip your moisturizer when using this one. It just really depends on where your skin is at and how much hydration you usually pull from products. But the nice thing is that this does have hyaluronic acid. So what that ingredient is going to do is going to pull moisture from whatever environment that you're in and help keep the skin plump and hydrated. It is very long wearing. It just looks beautiful and natural on the skin. So if you're looking for something like that, definitely suggest the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer. Wow, quite the name. Let's talk about some concealers. Now this is something that I get pretty excited about because I do find myself with certain items having a hard time finding things at the drugstore that do perform well to my liking. So I've got two drugstore ones and then I do have one that again you can order online. The first one I want to talk about is the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear. This is a total and complete 100% dupe for Tarte Shape Tape. I have heard so many people try to say that there's a Makeup Revolution concealer that's a dupe. There's just several out there that people will say. Being someone that has used both of these consistently, I can honestly tell you that out of all the concealers I've tried and the ones that claim to be a dupe for Shape Tape, this really is the only one that I feel will offer anything anywhere near that very full coverage that Shape Tape offers. This one I can almost say maybe that I 
like some days just a little bit more. If you are someone who struggles with a little bit more of dryness under the eyes, that's the biggest complaint with people who don't like shape tape. And it used to be one of my complaints as well, is that it is too drying, it's too heavy, it's too thick. Really all that comes down to is making sure that you are hydrated on the under eyes and the amount that you use as well as the application. So with any kind of full coverage concealer, if you are struggling to find one or to find an application technique that allows you to get that extreme full coverage without the thick, heavy cakiness, less is more. Remember, you can always layer your makeup. Start off with a little bit. Start in the areas where you actually need that coverage. No, you do not need to draw those giant triangles under your eyes. Trust me, girl, you do not need to do that to get a beautiful brightening effect under the eyes. So same thing goes with this one. Sorry to kind of go on about that, but I do have to say that this is a fantastic dupe for shape tape. If you don't want to spend the money on that, especially right now, but you want to get that full coverage, this is a fantastic product. Another one that I love from the drugstore that's going to give you a little bit more of a medium to full coverage effect, but is more of a satin natural finish, definitely not matte. This is fantastic for those who experience heavy creasing or those who have more mature under eyes. The Milani Conceal and Perfect Concealer. This is another holy grail item for me. I love this. This is another one where I use a whole bunch of different concealers that are really good. I do love quite a few different concealers, but every time I circle back to this one, there is just something about the way that this product makes my under eyes look. It is just so good. It is long wearing. It offers really good coverage. You can layer it up to a full coverage. It is just a really fantastic option. The last one is the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. So I would say that this one kind of falls right in the middle of the other two that I just mentioned. It's gonna give you a high medium coverage. It's not extremely matte, but it's definitely not hydrating. Again, it falls just right in the center, but it gives you amazing coverage. Now, sometimes I do feel like I have to set this more times than not. Like other concealers, I can get away with just a little bit of powder. This one I do feel like I have to set pretty good to make sure that I personally don't get creasing, but it doesn't deter me from it. It doesn't end up looking cakey or anything from setting it. It's just a really good, extremely affordable concealer that offers incredible coverage, and this one also works beautifully as a base for eyeshadow as well. So again, the ColourPop No Filter Concealer is a fantastic option. All right, let's go ahead and move on to some bronzers, blush, that sort of thing. Now I wanna talk about bronzers and contouring first. The first one I wanna talk about is one that I feel like should get a lot more love in general. This is from Wet n Wild. This is their Mega Glow Contour Palette, you guys. This is the best, the very best contour that you can get at the drugstore if you have light, medium, medium skin. I don't know if this comes in different color variations. When I purchased this, this was the only one that they had, but let me tell you, this is just the perfect color the perfect contour color. If you are trying to develop a shadow to the skin without it looking too orange, pulling too red, looking muddy, this is just absolute perfection. This lighter powder right here too is perfect for brightening. So if you use just a little bit of translucent loose setting powder under the eyes and you wanna bring back a little bit more of that brightness, a fluffy brush, tapping into just a little bit of this, adding this to the under eyes, it will get you the most beautiful, brightened, blurred effect. They blend effortlessly. I love that it has the large pan. This is a steal for what it does. The absolute best. It is so good. I have this in the shades Dolce de Leche. The number on it is 749A. Wet n Wild has some fantastic products, but to me, this is pretty much the best out of anything of theirs that I have tried thus far. This is a staple. I do also use this quite often, obviously. It's just, it's so good. It's so good. Another one is from Morphe. Now this is the Glamma Bronze Bronzers. This is in the shade Icon. They did recently bring this on now as a permanent item, which, thank goodness, this is one of my favorite affordable bronzers ever. The shade of this, again in the shade Icon, is 
perfect for my skin tone. Now it does come in several different shades for different skin tones, which is fantastic, but the formula is just so good. It is a matte bronzer, but it blends beautifully. It doesn't look dry. It doesn't look too heavy. It doesn't cling to dry patches. I love the giant pan size because you can technically bronze the body with this. The packaging is super cute. The only difference now is that it's like black with gold, which is adorable. I love it. I get total like 20s art deco vibes from this, which definitely helps with the experience of the product, but Mirror it is so good. One of Morphe's best, best products. Hands down, such a good affordable bronzer. The other option, obviously, I'm not going to drone on too much about this one because it's pretty much like beating a dead horse, but the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzers. Now this is the Ultimate Butter Collection, which I will say, side note, if you can get your hands on this, this is like a complete makeup kit. You don't need much else because it comes with everything. Um, I pretty much got rid of all my other Physicians Formula butter bronzers. They were outdated. I had them for a long time. Now I just have this because it's everything in one place. Still has that delicious coconut scent. And the kit comes all these different bronzer shades. So this is the traditional cult favorite butter bronzer. It does come with an eyeshadow palette too. I think that this is on sale a lot on the Physicians Formula website. If you can snag it, I think you can get it for like 20 bucks, $20. It also comes with highlighters as well, the butter highlighters. It's got a mirror right here. The packaging is obnoxious, but, and then it has the blushes and also some lip items as well. But the main focus right now is definitely going to be the bronzers in this kit. You can buy them individually. Obviously they sell them in just the regular compact. But yeah, the butter bronzer formula is fantastic. If you're just one of those people that hasn't just tried it yet for whatever reason, I definitely do suggest it. It is truly like butter. It gives you such a soft, beautiful glow. They are more of like a satin finish, so it does give you just a little bit of sheen. But especially if you are someone who has very dry areas on the cheek, you will absolutely love the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. Now that I'm talking about it before I get into the other products, I do want to mention that the blushes and the highlights are fantastic fantastic as well. So those are other drugstore options from Physicians Formula. Ones that I would actually mention that are worth checking out too for the formula at an affordable price because they are that good. But I'm telling you, if you can get your hands on this kit, girl, get you one because it's it's totally worth it. All right, let's talk about a setting powder. I do only have one. This is one that I do have in the, this area, a hard time finding one from the drugstore that I truly love. I feel like a lot of drugstore setting powders are just so mattifying and that's just not what I want for my skin, at least from what I've tried. Just not a huge fan. I know that a lot of people say they love the Maybelline Fit Me. Loose powders, pressed powders, I've tried them. It's just not for me. I don't like the look. It makes my makeup look a little bit cakey. So I do have to say that, but the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Powder, oh my goodness. Now I almost decluttered this, I think, in a video. And then I thought to myself, I was like, girl, why would you declutter this? This is fantastic, fantastic reference for those as well who are looking for more affordable products. This just gives you the most airbrushed look. Like it's insane. When I first tried this, I remember I did a whole video dedicated to trying this powder. I did the Photo Focus Stick Foundation, but there is something about this powder. Now it does come in other shades. You don't have to get it in banana. It's just, it is so good. When I put this on in the under eyes, it was like this instant blur. I was just like, excuse me, what? Like I was shocked that a drugstore powder performed quite like that. Like it gives me more of a blur than really a lot of the other powders that I use that are high end. So this is one to check out, especially if you are dry, but this works for oily skin too. This really works for any skin type and it truly does give you a photo focused look. So if you're into photography, if you need something like this for a makeup kit or whatever the case may be, this is such a good option. You get so much product in here, I think. Yeah, you get 0.7 ounces. You almost get a full ounce of powder in this and a little bit goes a long way. You can bake with it. It is fantastic. It is so good. Oh, one other bronzer that I forgot to mention. If you are into a cream product, I can't believe I forgot to mention this. This is from Physicians Formula as well. This is the Organic Wear Sculpting Bronzer with Jojoba Oil. This is a total dupe, in my opinion, for the Milk Makeup Matte Bronzing Stick. It does like the same exact thing. It performs the exact same way. This one though is a little bit more creamy and a little bit more muted. So if you are someone who wants to start diving into cream products, but 
you feel a little bit intimidated, you're intimidated, you're worried about the blend of it, this is a perfect starting point. But the shade of this is just so good. You'll have to excuse the eyeshadow swatches. I hope that's not distracting, but right there. Oh my goodness. This is so good. It's the perfect mid-tone shade. It does come in two different shade options. Yes, I do agree. Physicians Formula definitely needs to work on their shade options, like 110%. They just don't have enough shade options, but especially for the deeper skin tones, it's a little pathetic. So I think that they need to definitely delve into that more, add a little bit more option there, but oh my goodness, this is good. So good. It'll give you the most awesome bronze and contour. Let's see, what should we talk about next? Let's talk about highlighters. There's actually quite a few good drugstore highlighters that I can give you. First off, the Maybelline Master Chrome. This guy is just an old school favorite of mine. It's one of the first drugstore highlighters that I ever purchased, but it is beautiful. It comes in several different shades. The only one I didn't like, they came out with like this iridescent one. I don't know if they still even carry it at the drugstores, but it is so chunky and awful. So avoid that one like you're avoiding the plague. But this one right here, Molten Gold, is one of my favorites. The Rose Gold one is beautiful as well, but this is such a beautiful formula. It doesn't exaggerate texture either, which is really nice. But again, if you want like a poppin' glow. This one, definitely check it out. I have to give some love to the ColourPop Super Shock highlights. These are my all-time favorite. These are my three favorite shades right here. So Thimble, if you want like an icy champagne shade, light to medium, medium skin tone, you will be obsessed so good. That is like the one I reach for the most. Flexitarian, when I want to really blind somebody, like this is what I put on. This one is a little bit on the light side, so if you have more fair skin, you will really be a fan of this one. But this one I kind of like to use at the very high points. I'll mix it with other with some other highlights. Inner corner highlight, it is beautiful for. But there's just something about this formula that is so good. It just melts the product into the skin. It can give you the most natural look, but it can also give you the most blind highlight as well. And last but not least, On the Cusp. This is another favorite of mine. Flexitarian, Thimble, On the Cusp, just for some shade suggestions. Those are fantastic. Just such a good, easy to work with formula. Those are ones that I definitely suggest using your finger with as well. So application tip. Now this one is more of like a finishing powder, but I do have to mention it for those who want just like a very soft, extremely soft focus glow. So I have two options in this category. Number one, this is from NYX. This is their high glass finishing powder. This one I am shocked has gotten no attention. This came out recently. I want to say within like the last few months or so. This powder is gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. It is not intense by any means, but it just gives you that beautiful glass sheen, beautiful skin. It makes your skin look effortless and poreless and just beautiful. A little bit goes a long way. You can focus it more so like on the high points of the cheeks or on the cheeks in general, if that's where you want to kind of draw more light, right above the brows. You guys get the drift, but it is just so, it shocked me actually. When I picked this up, I was actually shocked at how beautiful it actually does look on the skin. Totally underrated, and this is a dupe, I would say, for the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powders. A hundred percent performs the exact type of way. It does the same exact type of thing where it just draws light to the skin. The nice thing about this one is I feel like you can actually use this on multiple skin types because the powder itself is so light and soft focused that it doesn't make you look heavy or greasy. Absolutely beautiful. The last one that falls in that category but is a little bit more on the radiant side, another one that I believe I almost decluttered, which I was like, girl, why? This is from Milani. This is their Radiant Finishing Powder, Setting Powder, and this is from the Make It Last line. This one is in the shade 04 Radiant. This says it absorbs oil and illuminates. It is a very interesting formula. This one though does give you quite a bit of sheen. I can't imagine that someone who is oily would be wanting to use this and I'll just show you. Like this is like almost like straight up like 
a highlighter. It's really pretty, but again, it's one of those for if you want a very soft focused highlight, you don't want anything intense, you want something that's extremely natural, you can hit it just in the high points of the cheeks and you will get a beautiful highlight out of this. It is so good. Again, it's a little bit too much on the radiant side to where I would picture using this as a full on setting powder, but you could definitely use it as a finishing powder. Dip your brush into, for example, this right here, mix it a little bit with this guy, use it on the under eyes to give more of like a brightening effect. There's many ways to use it and how you can incorporate this but it is a truly beautiful powder and I absolutely love it. Um, let's talk about brows. I only have one product for brows. I am super picky about brow products. There are very few that I love that have been on the more affordable side. For me, I consider boy brow not that much of a splurge, but everybody's idea of boy brow from Glossier. I should be more specific, but again, everyone's idea of affordable is different, but this is from BH Cosmetics. This is the Brow Duo Brow Powder. Again, another dupe for a high-end item, which is the ABH Brow Powders, but this stuff works beautifully. I want to say it's like eight bucks or something. This is like the best brow powder that I have ever used. The one thing that I love about this, especially over the ABH formula, is that this guy doesn't have any parabens in it, which actually all the stuff I'm showing you right now doesn't have any parabens in it whatsoever, which is important to me ingredients wise. That's a personal choice. Obviously people have different feelings about that, but for me, I do try to avoid that ingredient as much as possible. But this is beautiful, easy to use, several different color options. It's even got this cute little tiny mirror in here, which believe it or not, I have actually used this mirror <laughs> before, despite how tiny it is. But this is hands down one of the best and really one of my favorites and only favorites as far as an affordable eyebrow product goes. So there's an option for you there. Um, let's talk about some eyeshadows and some primer. So I do have one primer in front of me. This is from CoverGirl. This is their lid lockup. Another dupe item for a more expensive product, which is the Urban Decay Primer Potion. It's really extremely similar. Um, it goes on the eyes pretty much the same way, has the same type of texture. It's just very reminiscent of the Urban Decay Primer Potion. So this is a total dupe for that, but this one is fantastic. Definitely extends the wear of your eyeshadow, helps keep eyeshadow looking more vibrant, crease-free. It does everything that an eyeshadow primer is supposed to do. It is super good, like really good. This one doesn't obviously offer a lot of coverage as far as like covering up any lines or redness on the lids. So definitely lay down some concealer first to kind of get some coverage. And then you can put this right on top, but it is beautiful, super good eyeshadow primer. Now for palettes, I do have a couple of options here. The first one I want to give some love to is another product that I feel has been pretty underrated. And that is from Maybelline. This is the Nudes of New York palette. This is fantastic. One of the very best eyeshadow palettes that I have ever used from the drugstore. I've tried Wet n Wild shadows. They're okay. Um, to me, I feel like a lot of the success that I have found from the drugstore has actually been from Maybelline. Like I loved their lemonade palette. I never tried the soda pop one, but that's another good one. I don't know if it's still available, but this is beautiful. If you want an everyday palette that allows you to go from day to night, gives you tons of different options, works for a ton of different skin tones, this is for you. It is so gorgeous. The mattes blend and build beautifully. The metallics are super intense. This is another one that I feel could be a dupe for the new Born This Way nude palette from Too Faced that just launched. I've talked about this on my channel before, but this is another dupe item for that. Very similar shades, almost kind of like almost like the exact same type of layout. So if you've been kind of adoring that palette from afar, but you don't want to spend the money, you can get this guy. I want to say that I paid, again, like 12 bucks or something like that. And that was from Ulta. So Ulta can usually be a little bit more expensive than going to like Target, Walgreens, Walmart, that sort of thing. So you might even be able to find this cheaper somewhere else. But my goodness, this is a beautiful palette. Another option from BH Cosmetics, this is one that is holy grail, near and dear to my heart, that I do need to dip into more often. This is the Desert Oasis palette. Now what's nice about this one is that obviously you get a ton of beautiful shadows, you get your essential transition shades in here, you got pops of color, but then you've also got these beautiful highlights here as well. So this is kind of like an eye and face palette, but I am telling you, this shadow section 
gorgeous. The formula, the pigmentation, the metallics in here are some of the most punchy metallics that I have personally ever used from an affordable palette. And what I like too is that they include some of these more fun shades. So you've got this green shade right here, Cactus, Prickly Pear, which is like a green red duochrome. So beautiful. You've got Turquoise, Hot Spring. So you've got these pops of color so it does allow you to be a little bit more fun if you're kind of wanting that or if you're in that mood. But then it gives you all of these neutral sandstone, dune, sand, and canyon. Really don't need any other transition shades, build up shades, perfect. And then of course all the other neutral metallics in here that are beautiful as well. And I will tell you these highlights in here are girl, blinding. Such a solid, good palette, beautiful mirror, not too big, just gives you awesome color selection that allows you to be neutral and have pops of color as well. Last but not least, you guys know I have to give some love to my Alter Ego palettes. Sahara, Sahara, however you want to pronounce that. Another beautiful neutral palette that has mostly matte. So if you love your matte shades, that's what you reach for mostly. You kind of just want a pop of brightness in the inner corner or under the brow bone. You will absolutely love this palette. It is a dupe. All of their palettes are pretty much dupes for Natasha Denona palettes. So just to keep that in mind, again, if you have been adoring that color story from afar and you don't want to spend the money, this is a beautiful option. So blendable so good. I have done reviews on these palettes. So if you want a reference point, I have done looks and you can kind of check that out as well. Another one from Alter Ego right here is their Goddess palette. This is one of my favorites. Oh, this is so good. I love the color selection. I love the blues and the golds and the greens. So, so pretty absolutely stunning. And then last but not least, this is the Daydream palette. So this one is really fun because it gives you more of those romantic options. We've got some pressed glitters in here, and this one is very clearly a dupe, I believe, for the Huda or Huda Beauty. I don't know why. I've heard her name pronounced so many different ways, but you guys know who I'm talking about. Her nude palette, so pretty. And again, the formula is fantastic. I do have a discount code with Alter Ego. I try not to push codes, but if you guys are interested in in supporting your girl and you are interested in checking out some of these palettes, um, definitely use my code. I will put it on the screen here. You get a discount. I get a little bit of something. It's a win-win situation. So if you are interested in that, definitely check it out. But they are really good palettes. I have reviewed them. I have done examples of looks on my channel and you can see that they are really good quality. Um, the last one I wanna mention is actually a Sephora brand palette. This little guy right here, this one is, what is this one called? This is their Caffeine Please. This is a six pan shadow palette. More neutrals, beautiful. Just easy, simple. I love this packaging, I think it's really cute. They kind of give you some tutorials down here, different eye looks that you can create, gives you some inspiration. The shades are absolutely beautiful. Just something simple, again, for those who just want what they need, in one palette, they wanna put it on, be done, and go. This is a good option for that. Or if you travel a lot for work, and you don't wanna pack a ton, this is a fantastic option for that as well. Look how cute this packaging is. It's got all these little coffee mugs on it. Super cute, beautiful formula, and very easy to use. Let's go ahead and talk about some blush and highlighters for blush. The BH Cosmetics, these truffle blushes, Oh, these are so good, so beautiful, so blendable. And what I love about these and how they were curated is that you can realistically use every shade. A lot of the times when I'm purchasing a face palette, I want to be able to see that there are shades that I will use consistently. I don't wanna spend money, even if it's 10 bucks on a palette, if I'm only gonna be using one shade. It creates waste, it just, it's useless to me. So the thing that I like about these is that they do contain shades that are wearable overall, especially this one, this orange chocolate one. If you have more of a warm undertone or if you like more peachy shades, my goodness, look at this. Every single shade in here you can use, every one you could use. It's very wearable, you can mix them together. You've got a matte option, you've got things that look more shimmery and satin. Same with this one. This one mixes a little bit like of a cool tone pink. You've got some warm tones in here as well. Each palette does have a mirror inside, super affordable. They smell a little bit like chocolate, like white chocolate. Oh. So good, beautiful formula as well. Let's move on to a mascara. I only have one because I hate to tell you guys, I am so picky 
about drugstore mascaras for the life of me. I just can't consistently find drugstore mascaras that I love that I could keep reaching for. Now I have some that I've liked. Some of the CoverGirl Lash Blast mascaras, great option. If you like CoverGirl, you want something cruelty free, just a good solid mascara, check those out. The purple and the green tube, I believe those two are my favorites. The L'Oreal Lash Paradise, that one's good too. My only beef with it is that it dries out extremely fast and what can happen is is that you get all those crumbly flaky bits all under and over your eyes. Not a fan of that. That's why I just can't tell you that I love it. So the only one that I can really include from L'Oreal actually is this is newer. This is their Bambi Eye Mascara. Another one that I have not seen a lot of people talk about. This mascara is gorgeous. It gives you length. It gives you volume. It truly does just give you like this blown out just doughy eyes look. It is so beautiful. It does have a silicone wand, just to mention that in case you prefer a brush, but I usually do. But for a silicone wand, this one actually is nice. I find that sometimes they can hurt and almost stab you. If you guys have experienced that before, there's very few silicone wand mascaras that I really truly enjoy, but this one is fantastic. In my opinion, this is the best mascara that L'Oreal has. I know mascara is very personal. It's very hard to recommend a mascara to someone, but I do think that overall, a majority of you would really enjoy this. It's super beautiful. Moving on to some lip products. I wanna mention, I have a couple from ColourPop and Morphe. So if you are a gloss girl, which I am very much so recently, the Morphe glosses are some of my favorites. I believe they're like six bucks. They are fantastic. They do not feel sticky. They do not feel thick, but they are opaque. They are so beautiful. The shades that I love, I have Boho, Shimmy, and Flower Crown. So this one right here, this is Flower Crown. So this one has a little bit of a hint of sheen to it, but it's not super obvious by any means. Very nude, and it looks beautiful on the lips. The next one, which is more of like a shimmer topper, not glittery, but shimmery. This one is beautiful, especially especially in the summertime. If you're doing like a no makeup makeup look, you've popped on some tinted moisturizer and things are just looking very natural and fresh. This will give your lips just a beautiful plump sheen. So again, this is the shade Shimmy, absolutely beautiful. And then last but not least, I have another nude and this one is just a gloss with tint. It does not have any shimmer or anything in it. This one's a little bit more on the opaque side as well. And this is the shade boho which i absolutely love i think there are some things from morphe that are just spot on that bronzer that i mentioned earlier these lip glosses they are just so good things that just stand out and that are consistent in their product line things that i know i'm going to truly enjoy and that will perform consistently the last couple i have from ColourPop. now the just a tints i have in front of me what is this the shade Z, Z boys and gimme s'more now i did purchase several duos of these and i love them all but these two are my Ooh, I almost dropped them. <laughs> These two are my favorite shades. They are gorgeous. They will work for pretty much any skin tone. They just enhance. They're pretty pigmented for being just a tint, but they just feel so weightless and nourishing and effortless. They wear beautifully, but they are just so good. So they're kind of like in this crayon packaging and they do twist up from the bottom, which is nice. No sharpening here, but these are the two shades. And I just absolutely love them. They are the perfect nude. They're not too pink. They're not too caramely. They're just mid-tone and absolutely fantastic. They're the absolute best. And last but not least, if you want something a little bit more traditional, full-on lipstick, something that's more pigmented, I definitely suggest the Lux lipsticks from, I think that's what these are called, the Lux lips, right? I've lost my mind. I don't know why I can't think of the name. These have to be the Lux lipsticks, right? Either way, these in this packaging, there's only one on their website, but this is my favorite, one of my all-time favorite lipstick formulas. I reach for these all the time. They are so good. In fact, they're out here on my lipstick display at all times. Um, I haven't had this in the background of my video in some time, but it's usually sitting right here on my vanity for instant access, things that are top shelf that I reach for all the time. My favorite shades are, I'll show you. So this one right here is Scorpio Moon. This one's a little bit deeper, but oh my goodness, it is beautiful. Such a gorgeous shade. Then we've got, what's this one here? Appy. This is another beautiful nude. This one pulls a little bit more pink 
but it is gorgeous. It's not overly pinky. I don't want to give you the wrong idea. It just has more of that pink base, but it is a beautiful nude. So good. This is the one I'm wearing today. This is What's Your Sign. This has to be, out of any lipstick I own, probably my favorite lipstick shade. This is my go-to. It's just, it's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. Give me a little bit of a touch up. I'm getting that weird crease in my lips. I hate that. So good. They are so comfortable. They are a cream formula. They are just fantastic. And last but not least, this is the shade Spring Roll. So this one's a little bit more mid-tone, more mauve-y. Absolutely beautiful. So as far as lip products go, those are my favorite. I carry them in my bag, keep them in my caboodle. They're just so good. They're consistent and they do exactly what I need them to do. All right, let's go ahead and move on to setting sprays. I have the Milani Make It Last and I also have the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. This one, for longevity is a go-to for me. As you can see, I am running low at this point, but this is one of my favorite setting sprays of all time. It gives me a little bit of hydration, not too much. It does what it needs to do to kind of set down powders and just do all of that business. It definitely makes your makeup wear for an extremely long amount of time. What I love about the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist is not only the mist, because let's be real, like seriously, it smells amazing. I love the mist on it. It lasts me a long time, but this one is perfect for those days that I am feeling more dry or if I'm wanting to use a foundation that's a little bit more full coverage but can be more on the matte side, this will just bring my skin back to life. One trick that I can tell you guys is that with products, you can always mix and match. You don't have to use just one and be done. Sometimes we can be a little high maintenance. We need multiple setting powders on the face to do certain things. And that can be the same for setting sprays. If you are someone who is dry and you need hydration, start off with something like this, spray it, wait for it to dry, and then lock everything in place with something like this to make it last. So you're getting kind of the best of both worlds. Now, the last thing I wanna mention is some tools. So the first thing I wanna talk about is another Alter Ego item. This is their eight piece eye brush set. These brushes are fantastic. Now I don't have all of them in this tube because I have them kind of scattered in my bathroom where I get ready because I use them a lot, but these brushes are so good for synthetic brushes. They feel nice, they are so soft and just, just good. They're very good brushes for affordable synthetic brushes. So you can buy them in this kit. Super good option if you're looking for affordable eye brush set. Another one that's really good is one that I purchased years ago on Amazon. I'm gonna try to link it in the description box if I can find it. The Lamora brushes. Oh my goodness, for the longest time, there was this one Lamora brush. I know it's somewhere. Here it is, see? This brush right here, this is their blending brush. I used this all the time for like every look. In the earlier days of my channel, you will hear me talk about this brush a lot. So that Lamora set is fantastic. So if you go on Amazon, just type in Lamora brush, it should pop up. But like I said, I will do my best to find the link and put it in the description box below. This is more on the spendy side from ColourPop. This is one of their ultimate brush sets, but my goodness, it's probably the most expensive, it is the most expensive thing I have out of everything I've mentioned to you. But these brushes are fan fantastic oh my goodness the eye brushes in here specifically if you have hooded eyes it's a godsend you will absolutely love it i think it's sold out right now full price it goes for around 44 dollars. i'm even missing one right here that i took out i don't know where it is but you get all of these brushes you get the brush roll and they per form. Shout out to my friend Sarah for buying this for me. <laughs> she got it for me. I think it was for my birthday or Christmas. One of the two or birth miss. If you combine the two, I'm a December baby. So <laughs> everything kind of meshes together, but I love these brushes. I keep them out of my vanity. I use them all the time. They're so soft. They make your products just blend and work to the best of their abilities. So good. I have to give some love to my wet and wild sponges. I used this today. All time favorite, holy grail. It comes in two sizes. They've got this smaller orange one here, but then they have the larger pink one. I haven't seen this in stores. I did get this from the Wet n Wild website when they first launched these sponges. I believe it came in a pack of two for like five bucks. I actually prefer this one for some reason. I have found this as time has gone on. I don't know what it is. I think it's the size. Sometimes I like 
smaller tools. It works with my features. It is what it is. But don't discredit the larger pink one because that sponge is hands down the best the very best affordable beauty sponge that you can get. In fact, outside of even being affordable, it's better than 90% of the sponges I have tried. I'm very picky. It's really hard to compete with my beauty blenders. I love the real techniques. I do wanna mention that one as well, but the Wet n Wild sponges, do not sleep on them. They are so good. There you guys have it, a full collection of my all-time favorite holy grail affordable items. Like I said, these are products that I use all the time, even off camera in my daily life. These are products that I suggest to my closest friends and family. They are so good. None of this is sponsored. I am not an affiliate with anyone except for Alter Ego. I wanna make that very clear to you guys. This is all just personal preference and stuff that I have tried and that I absolutely love. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what some of your favorite drugstore items are. Are there hidden gems? Is there other affordable brands that you feel like people are sleeping on that they're not talking about? Leave it in the comments, let's talk about about it. Let's introduce each other to some new products that are affordable. And most importantly, let's search through what we have and let's start using up and appreciating some of the products that we already have in our collection. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a huge thumbs up. That helps me so much. It helps the algorithm. It helps my videos get suggested. So if you love the content and you want to support me, please hit that thumbs up. If you enjoy the content, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button before you go. I love you guys so much and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye guys.